So Lachlan, thank you for joining us again. Um, and you've come to us with so much experience, more than 15 years um, working here in Australia and internationally. And I'm sure you have a wealth of uh, knowledge and expertise that you can share with us and share with our audience. Um, when we're thinking about the risk identification process, are there any pieces of advice that you could give and also possibly any words or um, advice of caution um, so that you know, people can take that in and, and think about that when they're thinking about their own projects? Um, yeah, I mean, we can identify risks in just about everything we do every day. So the, the trap is, well, by dev, ent identifying too many things and getting off track. So you need to stay focused. And the thing to do is, is focus on your project objectives, on your you know, schedule and cost budget, and uh, quality, you know, the client specifications, the project deliverables. So you need to identify the risks that are going to prevent you achieving these things. That's something, I that's what the risk, that's the whole purpose, right? So you could identify, you know, someone driving to work is going to have a car crash getting to work, but I mean, is that ultimately going to impact your project delivery? Depends on the project. But, yeah, stay, stay focused on the objectives of the project. And is there an example that you could possibly give in a project that you've worked on um, that you'd like to share with us? Yep, so spent a lot of time on, on one project analysing the risks with uh, the resources. For, you know, locally for the project, we didn't think we had the resources to be able to deliver the project. And we spent a lot of time at looking at, at uh, working remotely and using resources remotely to get the project done and we spent a lot of time looking at that and planning that and you know, mitigating the risks of, of not having the, the resources but you know, we, we overestimated the resources we required and in the end we did have the resources locally to do it so we'd you know, gone, gone off track and spent a bit of time. It didn't really impact the, the project but it wasted a bit of time on the risk management process. Okay, great, thank you.